ay napakaganda po ng ating topic as uh, Bishop mentioned no dahil ang topic natin ay siyempre merong kinalaman sa estratehiya upang patuloy po ang kagalingan ay maranasan ng ating bayan hindi lang man po kagalingan para sa ating bayan ngunit naniniwala po ako kailangan ng kagalingan ng bawat pamilya o kung ano mang a uh, sitwasyon kang uh, medyo alam mo sick yung relationship sick yung situation sa buhay mo whatever that is i believe pasok pa rin ito tung mga strategies na pag-uusapan po natin ngayon wow. all right so the title of this message is if you're ready type mo muna diyan i'm ready i'm ready yan Sige, hintayin kita. I'm ready. If you're ready, I'm ready. Kasi kailangan nakatuto ka, walang ibang ginagawa, at saka nakafocus sa worthy Lord. Alright? Now, there we go. I'm ready. Let's read 2 two, two Chronicles 7.13. <clears throat> Sabi ho dyan, When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people. Verse 14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways or wicked ways, then... I will hear from heaven and I will forgive them their sin and will heal their land. Napakaganda ho ng ating binasa. Wow. Alam niyo po, lahat po tayo, we have come to a point na parang nasa, lahat tayo, na-experience na natin turning points in our lives. Yung tipong, um, um, sobrang lala ng sitwasyon and there's this um, situation sa buhay mo na that made you turn around. Kumbaga, dati um, lasenggero ka, dati drug addict ka, o dati salbahay kang tao. May biglang sitwasyon sa buhay mo, yung ibang tao ay nagkapamilya, nagkaanak, biglang nagbago. That's a turning point ng buhay nila. O yung iba naman, nung nawala ng mga mahal sa buhay, naging naiba ang buhay. O yung iba, nung nakapag-asawa, naiba ang buhay. There was a turning point in every man's life. Ngayon pong uh, gabing ito, may mga turning point din na minsan ay nagpapahiwik, hina po ng ating mga uh, faith. May mga tukso na talagang ini-invade yung ating privacy, no? Sa tindi ng turning point, kagaya ng sakit, no? Example, sickness. These are turning point na kung saan po ang sickness could lead into loneliness uh -huh. instead of strength. And many sicknesses or disease really suffocates us. Yung parang hirap na yung katawan, hirap pa yung bulsa. May iba naman ho ang turning point, no? Nag-cause ng worry sa kanilang buhay. At yung worry sa buhay natin, lagi kang balisa. Lagi kang nag-aalala. Ay, alam niyo po, parang nakakasakal yan, ano? It makes our decision, it, pa it paralyzes us and makes our, our decision so, um, tawag dito, mga mali-mali, no? Mali-mali, nagiging mali-mali na yung discarte natin. All these challenges in life, ay alam nyo po, may mga um, masasabi nating tinatawag nating trouble. Minsan, ano? Alam nyo po, ang trouble ay hindi mo nawawala sa atin. Hindi porque naging Christian tayo, wala na tayong dadaan ng mga persecutions or trouble. As a matter of fact, ito, pakinggan mo, ha? There are three stages in life of a person. Ito, number one, go ahead, Gail, you're going into a trouble or papasok ka pa lang sa sa parang gusot no merong pina, may gusot na papasok or pangalawa three stages yung pangalawa you're in the middle of a trouble nasa gitna ka ng gulo pangatlo example ho ah middle example yung middle of trouble ayan yung nangyayari sa Pilipinas sa buong mundo we are in the middle of trouble this pandemic no so number three, yung pangatlo yung yung palabas ka na ng trouble. Yung pinakamaganda. You're coming out of trouble. Sabi mo dyan, I'm coming out of trouble. I'm coming out. Come on. Alright. Yes. I'm, I'm coming out, out of, of trouble. trouble. Sige, ilagay mo yan. Pa palabas ka na. <laughs> no, hindi ka na papasok ng gulo. Now, yet. dito ho sinasabi ng Panginoon, um, uh, tapos na itayo yung temple ni Solomon, King Solomon, yung anak ko ni uh, 
King David, no? Sabi dito ni Lord, nangusap si Lord kay King Saul. Sabi dyan, when I shut up the heavens, so there is no rain, pakita mo nga yung 2 Corinthians 7.13. Ayan. Sabi ho dyan, when I shut up the heavens, so that there is no rain, Parang nangyayari ho ngayon, no? parang sarado ang langit. Sarado ang langit sa kagalingan, sarado ang langit sa ano ba, Lord, kailan ba ang ekonomiya magbubukas? Parang ito ho, no rain or command locusts to divide the land or send a plague among my people. Grabe, parang may plague ho tayo. Now, I want you to understand, bago ho tayo dumanas ng strategy o bago ho natin pag-aralan ng mga strategiya para ho gumaling ang ating bansa o ang ating ekonomiya o ang ating buhay, ano man ang pinagdadaanan mong trouble, dapat maintindihan mo, alamin mo muna kung ano ba yung mga paraan ng trouble. Eto ho, sabi ho dyan sa verse 13, number one form of trouble, yung stop the rain. No, Yung rain is stop, no? Or rain is stop. Ayan ho, number one form of trouble, rain is stop. Pakita mo nga yun, Gail. And second, ito po yun, when Israel sinned against God, nung nagkasala ho yung Israel, judgment ho, pinahinto ni Lord ang ulan, wala hong ulan. So ang hirap po, pagka walang ulan, alam naman ho natin, pagka walang ulan, bumababa ang tubig, no? Level lang sa mga dam, nagkakaroon ho ng tagtuyot. Second form of trouble sa buhay natin, Pwedeng devouring, no? Ito yung mga locus, sinabi ho sa verse 13, devouring of the locus. Ibig sabihin nito nito, yung mga negosyo ho natin, naku, pababa ng pababa, pabagsak ng pabagsak, palugi ng palugi, yung mga pananim mo, yung mga projects mo, lahat walang pumapasok. Pwedeng yan ang uri ng trouble. At ang pangatlo po, ito yung tinatawag nating pandemic, itong disease, pestilence. Sabi ni Lord, because of the sin in my people Israel commits, when I shut up the heavens, sabi nga, when I shut the hev- shut up the heavens, walang ulan, maraming locusts, lahat, kumbaga, puro trouble. Kaya grabe ho, kaya ilag, ilag, iwas, iwas ho sa sin, ha? type mo dyan, iwas sa kasalanan. Come on, iwas sa kasalanan. Now, there are ways how to control trouble. Pero bago nating maiwasan lahat ng trouble na yan, ano ba yung mga enemies ng trouble? Ano ba, ano ba, I am sorry, ano ba yung enemies ng revival? Ano ba yung mga kalaban ng pagbabagong buhay, ng pagiging maganda ang buhay, at higit sa lahat, revival ng isang bansa? Ano mga kalaban nito? Sabi nga sa encounter, no? Dapat alamin mo muna yung kalaban mo bago ka tumira. Kasi pag tumira ka, hindi mo kilala kalaban mo. Nako, baka, ma, ano tawag dito, matalo ka. So, knowing the enemies of revival, pakinggan mo natin ito. Number one, backsliding is the enemy of revival. Uh-huh. Type it there, backsliding, backsliding is the enemy of revival. Ang linaw ho in verse 14, sige, o may kaparusahan, pagka ho tayo nagkasala, may trouble. Maliwanag ho yan, sinabi ni Lord sa verse 13. When we sin against God, dalawa lagi yan. Pagka pinili mo yung kasalanan, laging may trouble. Pag pinili mo ang mabuti o ang pagsunod sa Panginoon, bless ang buhay mo. And I believe we've, we've been studying that through, all throughout sa mga SST and DST. Pero dito ho, in verse 14, maliwanag, if my people, type it there, if my people. If my people. <clears throat> if my people. Ibig niyan, God is calling His people. Tinatawag ko tayo ng Panginoon. Ikaw, tinatawag ka ng Diyos. Ikaw na, na naniniwala sa Diyos. Tinatawag ko ng Panginoon ng mga Kristiyano. His People, where are the believers? Where are, nasaan ang mga believers? Where are the Christians? This pandemic, asan ang mga Kristiyano ngayon? Where are the people of God? Where are the disciples of Jesus in the midst of trouble? Where are they? Saan ka kapatid? Nagtatago ka ba? nagbabackslide ka ba? Tandaan mo, ang number one na enemy, kung bakit ho ang bansa ay hindi gumagaling, ang tahanan ay hindi gumagaling, ang buhay ay hindi naayos, ang number one enemy ay ang ating pagtalikod sa Panginoon. That is backsliding. Backsliding. Kapatid, ngayong pandemic, huwag kang mag-backslide. Huwag balik agad sa Panginoon. Nagkasala ka ba? Balik agad 
Dahil sa Panginoon, hingi lang ng tawad. Hingi lang ng tawad. Huwag ko tayo magtuloy-tuloy. Amen? Tayo po dyan, huwag magtuloy sa kasalanan. Sige, kaya mo yan. Huwag magtuloy sa kasalanan. God is calling, if my people, where are my people? Where are the Christians? Where are they? So, enemy number two, pride. Pride is the enemy of revival. Kaya ho hindi pala gumagamot, nagagamot ang ating bansa, ang buong bayan, ang buong mundo. Bakit hanggang ngayon ay wala pa ring revival? It's because of the pride of people. People are constantly concerned with their choice. People are constantly concerned about their comfort. People are always concerned about their control. Kailangan kontrolado ko ang lahat. Kailangan ako ang nasusunod. This is pride. Ang sabi ho dyan in verse 14, If my people will humble themselves, So, ang kaaway ho ng revival, kaaway ng pagbabagong bansa o pagunlad ng bansa, pagunlad ng pamilya, ay pride. Yeah. Alam niyo po, pag umiya, sabi mo, no to pride. Come on, no type it there, pride. no to pride. Alam niyo po, kapag ang pamilya ay, ang bawat membro ng pamilya ay nagpataasa na, no? Walang nagpapatalo, naku po, walang nagpa, nagsasubmit sa, sa magulang. Grabe, yung anak, mas matapang pa sa magulang, o yung, yung magulang naman, laging tama, hindi na mali, wala nang mali, mahirap naman, no? no? So, dapat lahat tayo ay nagpapatawaran. Let's stay humble. When was the last time you knelt before God? If my people will humble themselves before God. Now, when was the last time we, we knelt before God in prayer? Lord, I humbly come to you, Lord. Please restore our land. Yes. Please restore my fam- family. Kailan yung huli mong pagluhod sa Panginoon? Yes. Amen? Number three, prayerlessness is the enemy of revival. Isang kalaban ng, ng revival pag tinu ng ating pamilya, ng bansa, ng buong, buong mundo, ay ang prayerlessness. Kawalan ho ng pananalangin. Ang sabi ho dyan, if my people will humble themselves and pray. Maniwana ho yan. Kung mananalangin lang, ito pala ang nagiging hindrance sa revival. Kaya ho, hindi gumagaling ang bansa mga bansa natin, ang buong mundo, ay kulang pa ho ang mga nananalangin. Tinatawag ni Lord ang mga Christians, nasaan? Buti na lang nandito ka. Type it there, thank God I'm here. Thank Sige God na, I'm lagay here. mo dyan. Pasalamat tayo kay Lord. Andito ka, wala ka, hindi ka nag-games, wala ka sa social media, nandito ka sa live streaming ng DST, and you're focusing on God. You're, you're, you're being one with us. You're praying with us. That's good. Sino po dito ang talagang handang manalangin kahit off cam? Sino po dito ang talagang, alam nyo, naraalala ko si Donya Zenia, sinasabi niya, alam nyo na, ang aga ko pong gumigising, minsan alas 4, minsan alas 5, at ako po'y nananalangin, sa aking pananalangin, minsan hindi ko na natatan, natatanto ang oras, eh, nakakaisang oras sa na po ako. Who, who among you desires to pray for other people na ikaw talaga yung handa kang manalangin para sa ibang tao. Yung tipo, gusto mong manalangin kahit hindi ka pakanan mo, kapakanan ng ibang tao. And I remember Donya Luisa, alam niyo po, ang dami daw po niyang kaibigan na siya ang kinokontak, nag-PPM sa kanya, please pray for my daughters, giving birth, please pray for my husband. Kaya naman po, grabe, um, Itong mga taong ito, bakit ito nilalapitan? Because they have the compassion. They have the burden. And we too must have the burden. We too must have the compassion to pray, to, to really um, have, have the, um, tawag dito, um, um, go in between, pray for others, no? desire to intercede for others. And number four, Ayan, type mo muna dyan, I'll pray for other people. Come on, I'll pray for other people. And number four, ano yung enemy ng, ng ating pong revival? Preoccupation. Number three, preoccup- and number four na tayo. Come on, Gail, can, can we uh, turn that on? Preoccupation is the enemy of revival. Sabi mo niyan, if my people will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. 
Gabi ho dyan, seek my face. Ibig sabihin, hindi naman ho yung hanapin natin mukha ng Panginoon. Ibig sabihin, hanapin ho natin ang kalooban ho ng Panginoon. Yeah. Sino dito yung hindi ka distracted? Lagi ka na lang Ah, inuuna mo talaga si Lord. Hindi yung inuuna mo yung kaibigan mo, yung inuuna. Masyado kang distracted. Isa huyan sa kalaban ng revival. Hindi lang ng revival ng bansa, kundi revival, personal revival. Kaya naman yung ibang tao mahihina na ho ang mga spiritual kasi ho distracted. Type it there, I am not distracted. I'm not distracted. Come on, type it there, I'm not distracted. I am not distracted. And number five, ito ho yung enemy ng revival. Ito pong presumption. Presumption is the enemy of revival. Ano yung presumption? Ito po yung arrogance. Arrogante tayo, no? Ang tao ho kapag ka, um, um, ang tawag dito, um, nagiging ma-pride o arrogante, sabi ho dyan, and turn from their wicked ways. If my people will humble themselves and pray and turn and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Ibig sabihin ho nito, hindi arrogante, hindi ho ah, ah, hinahanap po ang laging kapatawaran ng Panginoon. Hindi ho sila wicked. Sila ay ah, hinahanap change behavior. They just, they, don't, they just don't say sorry, but they change their behavior. They change their association. Nag-iiba ho sila ng mga kasama. Ito pong limang ito, ang nagiging kaaway ho ng revival ng pamilya, ng personal na buhay mo, at ng buong bansa. Now, ito po ah, ang pinaka ito na, ang susi. Kung gusto ho natin talaga makaranas ng revival sa ating bansa, maging sa ating pamilya at sa ating personal life, ito ang sabi in verse 14. Pagka if if si Lord sabi niya, if my people will 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 um come to me, if my people will who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek and turn from their wicked ways, ito na. Then I will hear from heaven. So number one word of consolation, the Lord, and promise, the Lord, God will give you His attention. Ay nako kay nino kaya to? Mararanasan mo ang kalinga ng Panginoon. Mararanasan mo ang attention ng Panginoon. Lahat ng attention na sa yon. Mararanasan mo ang lahat ng pagpapala ng Panginoon. Mararanasan mo ang lahat ng ng tagumpay because God is with you. Amen. God's attention is towards you. Ang ganda hunyan. Ang sabi if then I will hear from heaven. Then I will hear from heaven. And I will forgive them their sins and heal their land. See, He will heal us. God will heal us. Amen. God will heal you. Yes. God will hear you. I'm sorry. Hear you. Type it there. God will hear me. God Come on. Will God will hear me. Lahat ng attention ng Diyos, ano man ang panalangin mo, kapag ginawa mo, nagpakumbaba ka, ikaw ay bu- uh, tumalikod sa iyong mga kasalanan, God will hear you. And number two, God will forgive you. You will experience God's forgiveness. You will experience God's forgiveness. And sabi ho dyan, He will help you. He will forgive your sins. Ang tindi ho ng pangako ng Panginoon. Yeah. He will forgive you your sins. And lastly, ang pangako ho ng Panginoon, God's healing. Oh, I love this. God's healing. Ito pala ang sikreto ng revival ho sa ating personal life. Kaya pala minsan hindi tayo nari parang sarado ang tenga ng Panginoon sa ating mga kasalanan kasi sa ating panalangin. It's because we're, we're not turning from our wicked ways. Hindi ho tayo nananalangin. Ngunit kung gagawin ho natin ang lahat ng ito, kung tayo ihanapin ho natin ang mukha ng Panginoon, tayo ay babalik sa Kanya. He mananalangin, sasaliksikin ang kalooban ng Panginoon. God will give us our, His attention to us. God will forgive our sins Amen. and God Amen. will heal us. Yes. Yes. I, receive my healing. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. I receive my forgiveness. Sige, kaya mo yan. I receive my healing and forgiveness. Come on. Alam niyo po tayong lahat, sino ba ang hindi nagkakamali? Sino ba ang hindi nagkakamali? Lahat po tayo nagkakamali. Ngunit ang ganda ho ng pangako ng Panginoon in closing, hallelujah. You know, God may have had caused this pandemic or may have had allowed this pandemic to happen because for the longest time, 
people have worshipped athletes. So God closed the stadiums and all the coliseums. This pandemic, God allowed this pandemic because for the longest time, people forgot, forgets to pray and have worshipped musicians. His people forget to worship, but instead worship the musicians. So he closed all the concert halls. God closed all the ano po yan, mga karanera coliseum lahat. He closed every big places which held concerts. You know, God have had to allow this pandemic to happen because for the longest time, people have worshipped actors. People have worshipped Korean, you know, <laughs> actors, Americans, ano pa lahat na, Japanese, everyone. Filipinos, America, oh, European actors, they have the time to watch TVs, Netflix, all day long. So he had to close all the theaters. And for the longest time, people have worshipped money. Their businesses... People have worshipped their bosses, their careers. Now, because of this pandemic, he collapsed all the economy and God crushed the um, um, stock market. People don't want to go to church. For the longest time, invite more. Come, please come to church. People don't want, don't just want to go to church before. So you know what God did? He allowed this pandemic, so people would be very very excited to come to Him. Oh, I love this. But see me, po, because of this pandemic, ang daming tao ang gusto manalangin. Praise God, because He could use even the worst. Troubles to cause you to come close to Him. Kaya naman consider all these troubles. No, kapag nakakaranas ka nito, no, consider it with pure joy. No, yeah. consider it with, with pure joy. Or, 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 ang tawag dyan, um, be joyful at in all circumstances. Ngayon ho, nakakatuwa. Ang dami ho nating naabot. Because of this pandemic, the church buildings are closed and yet His people are looking for God. Many people are turning to the Lord. Sabi mo dyan na, I am turning back to God. Turning back to God. Many families are turning back to God. Yung dati yung mga asawa, hindi yung lalaki, hindi na isasama sa church. Mga anak, mga binatili, mga teenagers, they don't want to come to church. But because of this pandemic, I tell you, God can use um, diseases to make you come closer to Him. And this is what we're, we're doing now. Becoming close to God in spite of this pandemic in all yes. these um, bad tools and, and in all this fear that and panic that the world is experiencing. That we are becoming closer and closer to God. It's all because God allowed all this. He has interrupted the world. He has interrupted the, the world. The economy has interrupted the show business. He has interrupted all the stock market. He has interrupted it because God wants you to experience His blessings. God wants you to come back to Him and experience abundant life. God wants you to experience better days. Type it there. I receive my abundant life. Come on. I receive my abundant life. Kung bakit ka pinapalapit ni Lord, mas malapit. Kung ikaw ay luluhod, kung ikaw ay sasaliksik, hahanapin mo ang mukha ng Diyos. Kung mananalangin ka lang, Then I will hear. I will hear. God will have fellowship. 
closer. We are getting closer and closer to God. Becoming closer and closer to God. Let's all humble ourselves. Now these are the secrets. Ito ang sikreto. Where are God's people? And that's His challenge. Kung lahat ng Christian all over the world will just pray and humble. Wow, what a world we're going to expect. Yes. Better days are coming. Time it there. Better days are coming. Better days are coming. Better days are coming. Days are coming. And so tonight, I want to encourage you, kapatid. Ang buhay mo hindi pa hindi pa yan. Mas maganda ang kinabukasan mo. Mas maunlad ang kinabukasan mo. Mas pinagpala ang pamilya mo. Mas maganda ang future mo. Lahat ng pangarap mo mangyayari because you know the secret to revival. Amen? And lahat po tayo, bata matanda, hindi lang matatanda ang dapat nananalangin. Ikaw na bata, ikaw na magulang, turuan mo agad ang anak mo sa pananalangin sa kaparaanan ng Panginoon para paglaki niyan ay dire-diretso uunlad ng uunlad at hindi nalalayo sa Panginoon Amen. and tonight I want to pray for all, for all of you for every family for every individual watching today that you may experience revival healing to your family and to this land Amen please let's unite let's unite para ho tayo ay makaranas ng magandang mundo makaranas po muli ng kagalingan ng buong mundo. If you want that, if you want to become a part of this revival, God is going to do, then type it there, I will be a part of revival. Come on, come on. I will be a part of revival. Yes, revival ng pamilya, revival ng bansa, revival ng uh, personal. I will be a part of revival. Come on, type it there, thank you ta. Kung talagang gusto mo ng revival, please extend your hands and I'm, hand on the screen. I'm gonna pray for you. Yes, are you ready? All hands lifted up towards God. Father, we thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. You have revealed to us the secret to revival. You have revealed to us the secrets, Lord God, in receiving abundant life. You have re revealed to us, Lord. Maraming salamat yes. po. And I pray, God, that we may just receive you, Lord, and turn back to you. If you have not accepted the Lord Jesus as your personal Lord, I want you to pray with me right now. Lord Jesus, come on, say it with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus please, forgive me please forgive me of all my sins. All my sins. I'm coming back to you. I'm coming back. I am making you, I'm making you the, Lord and Savior the Lord and Savior of my life. Of my life. Please rule my heart, Please rule my, heart. My, body, my body, my thoughts, and my words. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus Ngayon pa lamang po ay declare namin ang lahat ng kalakasan, tagumpay ay sumaiyo. Thank you so much, God. Bless every viewers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Oh, wow! Amen. Yes. If you receive God's healing, Type it there. I receive God's healing and favor. I receive. I Come on. Receive I receive God's, God's healing, and, healing favor. and favor. Thank wow. you all for tuning in here. Yes. Naku, maraming salamat Apo. po. Thank you. Thank Sikar. you, Lord. Yan. Pakitype mo naman dyan. I'm super blessed. Yes. Come on. I'm super blessed. Yes. Ayan, habang nagta-type ng I'm super blessed, sige, pwede mo rin sulat ang mga takeaway mo dyan. Ang takeaway mo, ano yung takeaway mo? Nako, I'm going to be more and more prayerful. No? I'm super I'm blessed. Super blessed. Ano yung mga prayer, um, ng mga takeaway mo? Pwede mo isulat dyan ang learning mo para nagmamansyahwa sa ating puso at sa ating isipan. Thank you all for being here. Tay, thank yes. you. Yes, okay. Wow, talagang super blessed po kami. No? Kaya... Kanina pa lang po, sinabi ko na sa inyo, maganda na ang mensahe. Maganda pa. Yeah, mensahe. thank yes. you. At uh, dahil po dyan, sige po, tayo pong lahat, mga kapatid, no? Uh, share po natin. Yes, tayo pong yeah. lahat. Share. Share. Write post. Write post. And then, post. And then, post. Salamat po. Alam niyo po, namin patuloy na pinag-share dahil... Uh, Maganda po, marami po ang talagang nakakabasa, naabot, naabot right. no? Dahil talagang tama yung inaawit natin, no? Wala tayong isisigaw dito kundi si Lord lang, no? Kaya, thank you. At maganda po, ako po ay 
madalas ko nang nababasa yan. Well, in fact, alam ko, some of you are memorized that verse. <laughs> Pero si Lord laging nangungusap sa atin. Ano? Kaya yan pala ang enemy of revival. Amen. Talagang si Mami, oh, ina niya, iniisa-isa pa talaga. Eh, no? Thank you, Mami. Oh, Ay, ang galing talaga yun si Mami. Oh, Nako, saludo kami. One, two, three, salute. Oh, yes. yes. Oh. Senior po yan, pero ang galing mag-notes. Oh, Opo, mami, ang galing. Eh. Mami, grabe. Talagang Ay, pastor's mom. Parang hindi senior eh. No? <laughs> pastor's mom. Okay, yes. no Kaya, ano po ang inyong natutunan doon? Pwede niyo pong uh, shout out yan para at least, no? Ay, para na yes. re-retain po sa atin. Okay, kaya oh. thank you po. Salamat po sa pagtutok niyo po dito sa right. Daksan at sa Tahanan. Ayan. At alam po, naging pagpapala po ito sa inyong lahat. Yes. Yes. Kaya magkita-kits tayo sa Sunday. Anong oras? 10 o'clock in the morning. Ayan, ang dami nagte-take away. Ayan, ang mga take away sila. Thank you po sa mga take away nyo. Thank you po. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Ayan. Si, ano, si uh, Kenneth yes. Tauzon. Ayan, talagang uh, inano niya. Very good. Thank, Thank you, you po. And uh, tandaan po nating lahat, ha? When you work, you work. But when you pray, God works.